How's it going, everybody? World Money Wins here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I had uh, I was waiting around for my delivery today for the fractional gold fiesta, and while I was waiting at the office, I popped in uh, this movie. I'd never seen this movie before, Mother's Day with Rebecca De Mornay, and uh, this thing was a, a wild ride. <laughs> Rebecca De Mornay is just mind blowing in this movie. Really good. Um, it's a horror flick, and it's it's violent. If you like if you like Saw and uh, what else, it's hailed as I Spit on Your Grave mixed with Texas Chainsaw Massacre with heavy portions of Friday the Thirteenth. This is the movie for you if you like horror movies. This is a good one. It's not like a creature feature, but it's like a I don't know. It's like something Rob Zombie would make, I think. And normally I'm not a big fan of Rob Zombie movies, but holy cow, Rebecca pulled this one off. She, I've never been like a huge Rebecca De Mornay fan, but this movie, she was killer in it. Literally. See what I did there? And so I got my first, not my first, this is the second uh, piece for the Fractional Gold Fiesta. Oh, and I was going to mention also, there's a, I'm going to put a link to uh, the Economic Ninjas um, email, you know, whatever list. You, you put in your email and he can send you, like, emails. Um, there's some stuff. I talked to him yesterday for, like, a while. He called me up and had, uh, I don't know, he, he had some pretty important stuff to talk about. And so I figured I would let you guys decide if you want to get on his email list. I would recommend doing it. You can always just, uh, if you get an email from him, just label it as junk. But when I say, hey, you need to go look at the email from the Economic Ninja, then you'll have it. You just go to your junk folder. I know a lot of people don't like to sign up for email lists, um, but this one might be worthwhile. So I got a few things from AppMex. Only one piece of gold. And uh, it's kind of cool timing with this, too. I, uh, you guys have seen this thing before that I've shown on the channel. This is like literally my favorite silver coin design. I don't think there's any silver coin that looks cooler than this one, especially in two ounce. If they could make this in a three ounce, the same diameter but thicker, that would be cool also. So I ended up getting a couple more because I, I wanted to get a couple more. I wanted one, the main reason that I wanted them perfect condition, so I'm not even gonna touch this one. Maybe, unless I screw up and touch it. Just so it. <laughs> I'll just drop it instead of touching it. So, I when I first bought this this one here, I fell in love with it so much. And I put it in a capsule and I was like, man, I. I don't like having like stuff in the capsules that much. I mean, sometimes I do, but this one I wanted to hold in my hand. I wanted to feel it. It is amazing. The relief on the on the thing is insane. Check. I don't know if you can see how the shield, how high relief the shield is. But the, the reverse on it is amazing. The heraldic eagle. Literally, in my opinion, the coolest coin design ever. Even though this isn't a coin, this is a round, because it doesn't have a denomination on it. But I, I thought it was so killer that I had to get a couple more that I'll just leave in perfect condition. Untouched by human hands. Except for all the ones that that uh, touched it, putting it into this flip. <laughs> At least they don't have Cheeto stained fingers. Here's the back of the other new one. You can see the relief on the shield a little bit better. It is absolutely breathtaking. Really excited for this design. Make it another one. Who knows? I would get. I would buy a tube of these. And these are uh, kind of higher premium coins or rounds. I'm going to call them coins because they look like coins. I paid, uh, what did I pay? 
$148.40 for two. 148.40 divided by four ounces equals, I paid $37.10 each. Or per troy ounce, never mind. <laughs> $37.10 per troy ounce, so $74.20 each, which I think is a good deal for something that cool. And then uh, let me get this garbage out of the way. I also, one gram gold bar, secondary market, and it was at spot. They had another spot deal, and I was able to jump in on it. So, one gram gold bars are usually horrible to buy, except when you can find them at spot. I got, I've had it. I got one at, from Scottsdale Mint at spot, um, and I've got three from Atmex at spot. So, it's worth picking these up if you if you. Uh, if you find the at spot deals you'll need to put something else in your shopping cart to go with it um, to get the free shipping and I took that opportunity to get two more of these which I wanted to get anyway I was going to get anyway so let's see this is a Valcombi and I paid Eighty-one dollars and four cents. Eighty-one dollars and four cents from Atmex. So eighty eighty-one dollars and four cents times thirty-one point one grams to a troy ounce. Twenty-five hundred and twenty dollars per troy ounce. That's cheaper than spot price is now. So I mean, it, literally, I could put that on eBay and sell it for. Because you do you if you sell these you do you sell them with the premium as well you don't sell them at spot unless you you just can't think outside the box um, some people are just slaves to the coin shops and just I'll only sell to a coin shop and get spot well not me I'll sell to somebody else that wants a one gram gold bar and I'll give them a good deal I'll give them I'll charge them less than a coin shop will charge but not spot only I don't know why anybody would sell stuff at spot. And so, let me zoom out a bit. So the I've got all the, uh, the one gram golds. We got one month to go, and that's November. So next month, in like three weeks, um, whichever one's the first. I've already got done the five gram gold bar. I, I've ordered the quarter ounce and the tenth ounce, both from uh, bullion exchanges. Because they, they just had the best deal on them. They're secondary market quarter ounce, and I've, I've had killer success. You'll see I've got four other orders I've ordered from Bullion Exchanges four other times with their um, random random quarter ounce. Um, and it's cheaper than everywhere else online. Even if you go to findbullionprices.com, you're not going to find it cheaper than, uh, than the Bullion Exchanges secondary market bars. So we'll we'll start discovering. We got three weeks left, and whichever one's the first one to come in, either the quarter ounce, tenth ounce, five gram, or one gram. Each time one comes in, I'll do a separate video and show how the mechanics of um, what I believe it's better to buy fractional every month if you cannot afford to chump up all the money for one gram or one ounce gold coin. So. We'll see what the results are, and that'll be something that people can refer to when when you see online, like, it's a waste of money to buy one gram gold bars. Well, gold at spot in any size is the best deal. doesn't matter what size it is. If you get it at spot, that's the best price you're ever going to find. So that's it. Got the one gram gold bar. Watched this killer movie. It's on, this is on... Uh, DVD, um, and this I got at a flea market for 25 cents. So that'll go into my collection, my physical media collection, and uh, whenever I want to see it again, I'll watch it. And I don't have to worry about the internet being down. I don't have to worry about uh, whatever 
streaming platform you purchase um, movies from not renewing their title with the uh, or not renewing their license with the uh, the studio and then the movie you purchase just evaporates and goes away with no way for you to get get it so if you don't hold it you don't own it with physical precious metals and the same goes for movies if you've bought movies on streaming services to purchase because you love them they can go away if you don't have the physical media you don't own it anyway i hope you guys have an awesome day and uh happy mother's day when it comes around rebecca's gonna get you <laughs>